Well, another day, another vet appointment. Today we're taking Mozzie to the surgical center to get a uh, full blood work, urine test, all that good stuff done uh, to check everything for him. Um, I don't know what I was thinking. I brought a chocolate chip muffin because I'm starving. <laughs> I'm starving this morning. Didn't have time to eat breakfast. What was I thinking putting it in a bowl? Uh, why didn't I put it in a baggie? Because Mozzie keeps trying to reach over my purse here and eat my muffin. <laughs> he thinks it's a treat for himself because he didn't get to eat breakfast this morning. Right, Mozzie? You thought I was bringing that muffin for you? <laughs> oh, I felt so bad not feeding him this morning, but he can't eat when he gets his blood work done. We want the, we want the results to turn out right. Yes, we do. We don't want to mess them up. So on our way to the surgical center, um, we won't have results today. It always takes um, a couple days before she calls me with the results. So um, I'll have to fill you guys in on how that goes later. But yeah, what a rush out the door this morning. It's, it's 9.35. It wasn't really. He has to be there at 9.45. He, it's, it's not an early appointment, but boy, it was taking me forever to get out the door this morning. Thought we were going to be late, but we'll be there on time. Yes, we will. <laughs> and the dog's magnum screams when I leave with another dog. I need to record it sometime. He just screams um, when I leave with another dog out the door. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> woke my husband up. He was still in bed. I woke him up. I said, you're going to have to get up. These dogs are going to have to go outside because they're going to act crazy when I leave. So, all right, guys. We'll check in a little bit later. Okay, we're back home. Um, Mozzie did great at the vet. Uh, they said he looks great. They took some blood. They took some urine. And they're sending that all out to get tested. And they said they'd call me in a couple of days. Um, so I wanted to give a quick update on Marley. <coughs> Excuse me. Marley's doing great since his dental. Um, he's doing fine with the antibiotic. He's doing fine with the pain meds. I think he's taken them before, but they always call the next day to see how he's doing and make sure, uh, he's, they're doing okay with the meds that they give them. Um, he, yesterday when he got home, he mostly slept the rest of the day. He did eat dinner and he ate that down just fine. Had no problems. Yeah, so this morning he woke up acting like his old self. All the anesthesia had worn off, and he's doing great. Um, I wanted to show you guys. You remember Marley had a bump removed from the top of his nose, and they had to shave the hair at the top of his nose. So I was going to show you guys. It's growing back in. Um, you can see it looks kind of wonky. <laughs> But it's growing back in. Yeah, it'll take a little bit to get as long as the rest of the beard hair. But it's growing back in up there, isn't it, Marley? <laughs> Looks kind of funny sometimes when it's sticking straight up, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but you're still handsome. Even with your little short nose hairs. Yes, you're still handsome. His beard's a little crunchy because I've been giving him soft. Uh, I've been giving him canned food. Since he had six teeth pulled and he has some sutures in there. They said to give him uh, wet food for three to five days. So I tried to wipe his beard with a wet washcloth uh, to get some of it off. But I don't want to push too hard on his face. Since uh, it may be a little sore from having all those teeth pulled. So in three or four days I'll wash his beard real good. And get all the crunchies out i mean there's no food in his beard but you know if you feed your dog wet food and your dog has a beard um their beards get a little hard and crunchy yes they do <laughs> but he's doing great so all right guys it's a cold windy day it is so windy the real feel when i looked it's about noon it's about 12 30 in the afternoon Oh, actually, I'm looking at the clock. It's 1.15. It's later than I thought. It's spitting a little bit of snow. Nothing sticking. Uh, but the real feel was 17 degrees. Uh, yeah, it's cold out today. So the boys have been kind of 
staying in the house. Um, you trying to scratch your face, Max? You trying to scratch your face? He has a hard time on this side getting his beard scratched because of that um, leg, back leg that was affected from a spinal stroke. So whenever I see him trying to get that side of his face, I give him some scratches. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to give you some scratches. Guess we are. Um, yeah, so cold day. I think I'm going to decorate the schnauzer tree. This is the family tree as I call it. And this is the tree with the glitter on it. Oh, let me show you up close. See the glitter in there? Yeah. It has a lit, light flocking, but it also has glitter and then it has little um, pieces of plastic on it to make it look like uh, ice. But see that? Yeah. Merlin every morning has had fake snow and glitter on him. <laughs> he gets inside. Gets inside of this thing here. Messes around in there. Yeah, I bought those metal... I don't even know what you call them. Tr metal tree skirts, I'm going to call it. Because the cats would play on the other tree skirts and they'd always be moved and messed up. And I thought, well, I'll get these. But he just jumps in it and plays in there anyway. <laughs> All right, guys. Hope everybody's having a great week. And we will talk to you guys again in the next video. Bye-bye.